Crying emojis in the chat, pimps. Crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord. Why are we playing White Run? Why is Duty paying, playing White Run? Well, we know that White Run is the low cow anthem whenever one of our low cows gets snaggy, either lying, crying, or complaining. And this time, our boy DSP has got was was snagged lying last night. Now, what did he lie about? He lied about the Dutch oven twins gifting him gunner glasses. Now, you guys know I question everything our boy DSP ever says. It, it, it's either half truth or a lie. And I am under the impression, and I've showed proof before, that Phil never receives any gifts. And whenever he buys something, he, he buys it himself and then he claims it's a gift so that the den heads don't start questioning him and saying, Hey, you're supposed to be broke. Why are you wasting money on this stupid shit? He did it with the ghost Pac-Man thing. He did it with his chair. He did it with his Xbox. On and on and on, you know our boy Phil has lied over and over again about receiving air quote gifts. Now, last night he went on and was, was, was all squarmy about these new gunner glasses that apparently the Dutch oven twins gifted him. And I'm calling bullshit. And of course, whenever Phil ever says anything like this or comes up, your boy dude is going to do some research. And what I found was hilarious. And I think pretty solid proof that our boy Phil purchased this and didn't receive any gift and yet again lied to everyone. So let's watch the video and then I will show my proof. Week, I'm totally okay Round emojis that. in the chat. You guys are too. Um, now I have a quick announcement to make. <clears throat> It's not huge or anything. It's just kind of positive and cool. Um, so today I got another care package from Dutch, and I believe he said it's his brother uh, who goes by Twisted. They don't obviously they don't want to be using their real names on the internet. I totally understand that. Um, and they they we're going to be calling them the Dutch Oven Twins. Basically sent me a, a box of you know varied things. They've been doing this. Well, Dutch has been doing this. I don't know if his brother has had any involvement in doing this uh, before. But previously, just to give you some perspective, uh, Dutch had sent me the Magic 8-Ball, which is now a staple part of my streams. If you guys remember, if you tip $8 or more in one go, you can ask the 8-Ball a question. In fact, how about this? Will we finish the campaign tonight and have time for multiplayer? No. Ask, oh, as I see it, yes. So the 8-Ball says, yes, we should have time for some multiplayer tonight. I guess we'll really see. Gabe knows what it's talking about. Um, but that's a staple of the streams now. Pretty cool, right? You tip $8 or more, you have to ask the 8-Ball a question. Another thing that we had over October was a little Nosferatu figure that I had in the background. That was actually from Care Package there, too. Um, you know, and various other odds and ends that they had given me. I told, I keep telling you about things they got for Jasper, like a, a pet toy <clears throat> that he really liked. And this catnip that was called Extreme Catnip. That is, like, super powerful catnip, and Jasper absolutely loves it. Okay? Well... Today we got something new I'd like to show you. Gifted to me by uh, Dutch and his brother. Should I just call them the Dutch brothers? Right? You got Dutch and his brother Twisted. Or I could just call them the Dutch brothers. You can call them that. It'd be easier. But uh, are you ready for this? This is something that actually someone had asked me about recently. <clears throat> so would I consider getting something like this? And I was like, you know, it's probably a good idea. But it's just not something that I can think about at this time. So ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I received this in a care package. Ladies and gentlemen, a new pair of Gunner glasses. These are my original pair of Gunner glasses. I bought these over 10 years ago. That's a lie. He did not buy them. Yet again, he lies again. He received them from one of those... Um, remember he used to get those loot boxes or whatever it was uh, years ago. That was one of the contents from the loot box. So yet again, Phil lies. All right, and they sat in storage for that long. I never used them for anything. You saw it never in a video did I wear them or anything. It wasn't until last year that we were trying to get some ideas of things that I could do on stream, and you guys have put on glasses. So that's when I started putting on the Gunner glasses, all right? So we have a new pair of Gunner glasses tonight. I'd like to debut these with you today so you can see what they look like, all right? They are a different design than the previous Gunner glasses, all right? Very different design, actually. Take a look. One thing that I can immediately tell you is better about these glasses than the other Gunner glasses. The actual, you know, bands or whatever these are called 
are not that rubberized plastic crap. Those over there, they've disintegrated over the years. And keep in mind, I never used them. They just sat in storage. When I started using them last year, they're sticky. The, the bands are actually sticky. All right? All right, right there, our boy Phil over explains everything when he's lying. And he has to talk about how the old glasses are sticky and they're disintegrating. Y y yeah, Phil, yeah, 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 Phil. You're, you're, I'm pretty sure you're not stating that because you actually bought the glasses yourself. You bought the glasses. No one gifted you these kind of glasses. And the interesting thing is that you actually make a comment where you know how much you, how much they cost. But yeah, well, I, I'm jumping ahead. Let's keep watching. This is nice metal here and plastic here, but regular plastic, not that rubberized crap. Okay, so there they are. They definitely look different, although as you can see, they're still thin. So it's not like they're gonna giant stand out on my face. Those over there have no rims at all, just to show you the comparison. The old gunner glasses have no rims whatsoever. You see that? So they do look very different. Although not so different. All right. So. New Gunner glasses. All right. I looked them up. They're about 50 bucks. So thank you so much to the Dutch brothers. Obviously, you dropped some dough there to contribute to the streams. And I really, really appreciate that. That support is very appreciated. So what I would say is for. How do you know they dropped money? How do you know that it wasn't a gift or they used them and they sent them to you? How do you know specifically they spent money on this? Hmm, interesting. For now, let's kind of not necessarily retire these, but let's let's put these on hiatus, the old ones. Let's, from now on, if we hit $50 in, in uh, you know, support of uh, tipping, I'll put on the new pair and we'll see how they fit. We'll see how comfy they are. We'll see if they're as good as the old ones and judge, you know, which is maybe better. And then maybe down the line, we can, whenever we hit $50, then we can do a poll. Do you want the old or the new gutter glasses? The reason why he's doing that is because he bought these and if they don't fit well, he's going to return them and keep using the old ones. Most people would say, all right, I'm going to try it on. If it fits good, I should be good to go. And then I'm going to throw away the old ones that are disintegrating. But not Phil. Phil's going to keep them. Okay. What do they actually do? They block blue light. So for example, if I look through these at my TV... Everything has a slight yellow tint to it, but oddly enough, whites don't really look that yellow. It's only certain whites. It's it's kind of hard to explain. So everything will basically have a little bit of a yellow tint to it, but it reduces eye strain dramatically. And I've noticed over the course of this last year, wearing those gunner glasses, I feel it actually helped my eyes. I used to always complain, oh, my eyes are burning, my eyes are burning. I don't really do it that much anymore. I think it's because I'm wearing those glasses. So, so those are the new gunners. It just came with a nice cleaning cloth, too. A new new gunner cleaning cloth. All right. So, these are now available if we raise $50 on any stream starting right now, tonight. Um, new gunner glasses will go into effect. And we'll see how they work. All right. I don't know what model they are. I know they're Razor, like a Razor tie-in. Um, but I don't know if they have a specific model number or whatever. I don't know. Maybe they say on them. But I didn't look that much into it. Excuse me. All right, so guys, tonight, let's... Folks, so I just finished. So, and by the way, right after that clip, he also talked, people were talking about how much it costs. And he said, oh, they cost 50 bucks. They cost 50 bucks. That's what he said. He didn't look into it. He doesn't know the model number, but yeah, they cost 50 bucks. How do you know that, Phil? How do you know that those glasses cost you 50 bucks? Anyway, we all know Phil's line, but the interesting thing is your boy, Duty, of course, remembers he has a brain of an elephant he remembers everything so he knows that our boy phil just recently went shopping on amazon and bought a tv so i do a lot of shopping on amazon i do a lot of shopping on amazon you know i do not a lot but i do most of my shopping on it let me let me put it that way right and your boy duty knows how amazon works and the one interesting thing about amazon is that when you buy an item or you search for a specific item, it also gives you stuff to explore, recommended things, things that go with it, right? Right? You guys know that, right? So the funny thing is I went in and I did a search for the TV that Phil just bought, the Sony Bravia uh, X90J 50 inch, right here, 798. You see it, it's in my cart, right? And I'm not making it big because I don't want to show my account and all that stuff. So. 
Uh, you guys do see it in my account, right? Right? Lo and behold, what do you see here? Explore more items, recommended items. Oh my lord, look, look. For some reason, it's recommending gunner glasses to our boy Phil. How convenient. How convenient that our boy DSP bought a new TV, and when you go on the Amazon and you type in his TV and you put it in your cart, for some miraculous reason, it shows gunner glasses. And I know you can use gunner glasses for TV. It helps with eye strain, so I understand why it pops up. But isn't it so... What a coincidence. What a coincidence that our boy Phil... That our boy Phil just bought a TV. And... Someone just gifted him. Someone, the, the, the brothers, the Dutch Oven brothers just gifted him gunner glasses. And yet the very same gunner glasses are popping up in the recommended items to purchase. Hmm. 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 I'm going to say that Phil lied. The Dutch Oven brothers did not give him damn shit. When Phil bought his television, he saw the gunner glasses, and our boy Phil can't help himself. He's such a consumer and a compulsive shopper that he said, Oh, I got all this money. Let me also buy gunner glasses. And then I'm going to tell my den heads, Oh, the Dutch oven twins gifted me this. Of course, it's anonymous. They don't want to be known. They gifted me this. Give me a goddamn break, Phil. You just got snagged for lying again. Good lord, cover your tracks better, Phil. Cover your tracks better. It literally took me two minutes to actually do the search, pull up your TV, and lo and behold, the recommendations are gunner glasses and all uh, all this other shit. And yeah, so there you go. Cry on emojis in the chat for our boy Phil for not covering his tracks right and getting busted for lying yet again. Oh my lord. The Dutch oven twins are not real they're fake just like fake uh just like dsp's fake lie about getting gifts no one is sending this uh thing tr money no i'm not not money i'm sorry no one is sending phil gifts no one cares enough to send him gifts and the other thing is is that he's always said time and time again don't send me anything because it just gets trashed. He doesn't open it because he's so worried that maybe someone will send him something inappropriate, like a bag of doo-doo or something. But yet, but yet, the Dutch Oven twins send him a bunch of stuff, and he manages to get it, and then show it on stream and claim it's a gift. Anyway, I'm not buying it. Ground emojis in the chat, pimps. Phil lied yet again. Talk to you later. Peace out.